Hey crafters! So I want to show you something that's becoming incredibly popular and I think is fantastic for anyone who's new to scrapbooking because it really gets you started fast. And this, this particular one that I want to show you is from a line that I really am enjoying. Um, it's a summer line from American Crafts called Mayberry. Um, what I like about this particular um, day book is it's got these rings in it so it's easy for you to add additional pages, tags, or, or whatever. And I'll show you the one that I've started. I haven't finished, but I um, started it this evening. It comes with 10 pages in it. It has a nice um, thick uh, cardboard cover on the front and the back. And of course, uh, you'll embellish the front, um, lots of creative things that you can do with that. Again, I'll show you the one that I've started, but I haven't quite finished it. But I wanted to show you what makes this so great, especially for if you just want to craft a short summer um, event or, you know, some particular occasion. What's really cool is uh, the pages, of course, are all double-sided. They're colored their designer paper but what I love is they have different sizes and shapes and elements in here so here's a page it's smaller it's great to make these kind of, of uh, binders yourself and you can do that and changing the size and shapes of the pages that are in there this would be a great page for journaling on this one of course double sided it's got the flowers look at this cute piece it's got the scalloped across the bottom, different color on the back. This one comes with a pocket. It'd be really cute. Got a little thing you can journal or put a um, picture on that in the pocket. There's another one. Look at this cool page. Again, it's just a different size. This is cool. It's got a vellum piece in it that you can do a lot of really cool stuff with. There's another one and like I say you can even cut down and use a hole punch and add additional pages to it so this is from the Mayberry collection let me show you the one that I started tonight like I say I haven't done the front um, but I thought this one was gonna be with my grandkids for summer summer things this is my grandson Johnny from this summer um, so you just put all kinds of really fun little embellishments on it. It's super easy, super fast. Then the other side, this is my granddaughter, Lydia. But notice you just, again, got some chipboard, some rhinestones, put a little, can't think, um, journaling card, but I just put her name and the date and a little, uh, button so just going ahead and adding additional elements um, make this really fun this next page I actually added this because I wanted to show you how easy it is to add elements and what I did was I just took a regular manila tag that we crafters do all kinds of crafty things with and I covered it so this side has my granddaughter Gabriella jumping on her trampoline um, and this just giving it a little texture I put some twine some baker's twine on here and tied little knots in it just to give it a little different element and frayed the ends but it's really fun to have just the different size of pages in here like I say great great to add these tags to so I've got Gabriella there and then on the other side I just used it for journaling just put a couple of embellishments on here and did a little bit of journaling on there let's see then I did do some journaling on this is the page that I told you oh, that would be great for journaling and I did uh, this was a Denver trip I took in 2012 while this is supposed to be summer some of these pictures are from last summer but I wanted to get one with all my grandkids in it so some things I haven't done anything on that side yet and then this picture which I think is so adorable 
is my gan granddaughter Gabriella and my grandson Damien. And again, this page already had these florals on it. All I did was put the picture, a couple of little embellishments. This was a um, chip, not a chipboard, a wood veneer piece that if I could get it out of the thing that I just um, was just wood and I used a marker and turned it yellow and used some wink of Stella that you guys hear me talk about all the time to make it shimmery. I'll probably add uh, some more embellishments. Like I said, I just started it um, this evening. So, And then here is my grandson, Timothy. And again, I used some of the puffy stickers. I really love these puffy stickers from the Mayberry Collection. I'll show you in a little bit. I used another uh, wood veneer piece, but I didn't color it. So you can just add uh, chipboard button stickers. It doesn't have to all be from the same collection. I do love the pages that are in this particular little bundle. I added this tag. I punched this tag out, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I used one of those crimpers. It's just red cardstock, and I crimped it. Hopefully that will show up. It's a great texture. I would highly recommend it. Um, you can get the crimper. I don't sell it at Sampin' Mania. You can get it at any boxed, uh, big box store at Michael's, Joann's. And I would suggest for those kind of things, use your 40% off coupon. They're not very expensive. Actually, let me see if I can find mine real quick right here. Well, I don't know where it is. Okay, scratch that. I'll show it to you on another video. So I made this little tag. I'm going to put something in it, but I haven't done anything with it. So that's as far as I've got in my little album for tonight. But I just wanted to show you some really fun, cool ways that you could make a fast, quick, really memorable little album. So consider doing that. Super fun. I want to show you some of the items that I have from the... Um, American Crafts Mayberry line, which of course the day book. Some of their papers, I will be honest, I did not order every 12 by 12 paper in their line. Um, some of them were just normal, meaning they didn't really stand out and warrant a whole separate purchase because you probably have very similar pages to them or the other pages I just flat didn't like. So, one of the things about Stampin' Mania that I've always told you, I will only carry things that I like and that are good quality. <laughs> I know that we don't all have the same taste. Um, I do carry some things that, you know, I like, not love, but those papers just really, in my opinion, didn't, didn't warrant it. And so I don't want to try to sell you a bunch of papers. Um, and some of the um, designs in them, I felt looked better. I did get the um, six by six pad and some of those papers, you know, this is just a very uh, normal paper. You probably have some quite similar to it somewhere, this little kind of checkerboard look, but I do like it in the reduced size of the um, designs in the six by six notepad. These are awesome. I've already used one I pulled the page out in the 6x6 pad I love the small version of the journaling cards and accent cards that you can cut out because they're great for cards and they fit great in these um, day books that I just showed you and as well as the scrap journaling that um, a lot of people are really getting into doing their journals and scrap journals and these fit in there perfectly so I do like the 6x6 pad they are single-sided, and it's not that the papers were horrible, but they weren't unusual enough. I'm not hugely fond of that one. They weren't creative and unusual enough for me to, like I say, to buy all the 12 by 12s but they're great. It's a great 6x6 pad. like it a lot. Not a fan of that. I know you could probably do something really cute with it, but not a fan. But I am a fan of this. It's got 36 single-sided papers, so it's got a lot of papers in it. It's a really good value. 
great for card makers as well. Um, some of the things that I did love of this line are, and it did, oh, I didn't show you the papers that I did love. Um, this one uh, called Summer Breeze I thought was so cute. Uh, the pinwheels are so popular right now and I should have pulled some out here to show you. We do sell some pinwheel 3D embellishments that I plan on putting on one of these pages. That'll look great on there. And then here's the back. This one is called Mapleton Drive. I thought that was pretty. And then the back, always nice to have um, polka dots. You can always use the polka dots and this side obviously is very girly and feminine. So if you had to uh, include some gentlemen in your lives, then you can use this back side. So I thought that was a good one. This one is called Sweet Splash. I really liked it. Um, that summer feel with the water splashing. I think you can do a lot of really fun stuff with this page. And you can never go wrong with bright stripes. Love it. Gonna do some fun stuff with this. And then this is their um, Strawberry Lemonade is the name of this piece. And it's got the cutouts on it. Of course, the bigger version of the little ones that I just showed you. And in the back, do love that the uh, pink and ivory stripes. So I thought these pages were really good. Love those. And I was actually started a scrapbook page um, with one of those tonight. Another thing that they have in this kit, I'm really fond of these and they're becoming quite popular, are the pockets with inserts. Here's how it comes packaged. But I had mine open already, so I'll show you. It comes with six pockets, and inside the pockets, of course, are little cards, mix and match, doesn't have to go in that pocket. So you get 12 pieces, six cards, and six pockets, and I just think these are great. I really like them a lot. So that's what those look like. I did get the um, acrylic stamp set. It's a small stamp set, but I love the size of the word hello. And I'll probably be using this and doing a little embossing in the day book that I just showed you a little while ago. Here are their um, die cut cardstock shapes. There's 24 shapes in here. I've used several of them in my day book a while ago, but the pieces that I haven't used, I will show you because I do know that this cute little red wagon is going to go on one of the front pieces of my album. I know that I'm going to use that on there. I love the name of this collection, the Mayberry Collection, because it just it makes me think of the show Mayberry. Um, just kind of a little bit old-fashioned. Um, just good. Don't know what to call it, but love it. Love the nostalgia of it. So these are, I thought these were really cute. Um, little journaling cards, looks like notebook paper. Got some watermelon and cherries and sweet and lemonade. And so it's got 24 pieces in it. It has some really cool vellum pieces in it as well. This is a cool little tag. All kinds of stuff. I thought this was cool. This could even go in a pocket. It's got like a little tab. You could pull it up. You go in one of the pockets. So those are the pieces. Again, can't wait to finish the front of my album because I think this little red wagon is going to look so cute. So that's that. Sorry, I just hit the thing. These are the puffy stickers that I told you about um, when I was showing you some of the pages, how much I loved the puffy stickers. Of course, you can see that mine is used and I have a lot of them but you get 40 of these little stickers and these are great they're that kind of puffy and I don't know the exact term but it kind of feels like plastic or epoxy it's their little puffy stickers and so fun this is a great size they work on cards too um, love that I will probably be busting into several packages of those and then here is a large, there's 134 pieces in this, and it's accent and phrase stickers. I'm going to go ahead and take this out, because I think this one is 
mine anyway. I know that paper gives you a bad glare. Let's see here. So they just folded it. So, um, great little letter, some journaling, more fruit, stickers, good words. So I really like this header down here, summertime. I'm probably holding some of this up so high that you couldn't even see it, but these are the pieces, like I say, 134 pieces in their remarks, accent, phrase, and stickers. So those are all the pieces that I have in the Mayberry and the adorable Mayberry Day book. So check it out at stampinmania.com and go have fun and create. Have a great day.